Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Let's just get down to it. W- welcome to Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Coach Key. Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Real life stories of inspiration, perseverance, and prosperity. Turn your radio up as loud as possible. Sweet Tea with Coach Key. I hope you have your teacups ready because she has the sugar. Nothing like a cup of brown sugar to sweeten my day. Now let's enjoy some Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Welcome to Sweet Tea with Coach Key Podcast. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, you seen post yesterday that specifically um, address fear. Fear that is specifically initiated by other people. This is not a fear of your own. This is something that has come about by someone else. You're having a conversation with someone else and they somehow, some way, you know, burden you with their fear or their perspective on a situation. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll give you an example. When I made the decision or was in the process of making a decision to move to Texas, I had someone tell me, well, actually several people, numerous people tell me, oh, well, what about, what about your mom? You know, your mom depends a lot on you. And, you know, what about your siblings and your nephews? Or you won't, you won't see them as much. And it'll be, you know, a once a year or twice a year type of deal if you move. And, you know, thank God that I did not allow that fear or perspective, if you will, to hold me back and put me in a place of bondage to not move my feet for opportunity that the Lord had placed in front of me. Now, mind you, I had already prayed before um, I shared this information with someone else. Either I had already prayed about it prior to, or I was in the process of waiting to hear from God. So that was going to trump the decision anyway. Um, But human nature... Wanting to share um, your goals, or in my case, my goals, with people in my life that I care about and assume that they care about me, you know. Um, But if I had have listened, that would have moved me away from my destiny where God would have me be. Not only me, but I have provision over my children. Um, God has blessed me to be their, their parent, you know. And he, according to his will and his way, they were supposed to be raised here in Texas. They weren't supposed to was not supposed to spend their entire childhood for whatever reason in Charlotte, my hometown. So, um, I feel very passionate about this because we sometimes can get into the groove of consulting with people who have the same limited ability that we do. Um, and it's, it's one human nature. I say this all the time to, to pers- try to persuade people to do what it is that you think that they should do. It's human nature for folks to feel like they know what's best or they want to. And it's not always a negative thing. If you see someone about to burn their hand on the stove, you're going to do all that you can to, you know, prevent them from doing so. Especially if you know um, what's best. If you've been in a situation where you've been hurt, um, you're going to more than likely try to, you know, persuade someone not to do the same. Well, the problem with that is we don't have the same destiny just because I went through a situation and, you know, it, it scarred me or I did not, you know, succeed in a situation. That does not mean that that will occur for someone else. In fact, God has given us on our own journey and I would, I, I actually believe that he would allow the different factors in life to affect us differently so that we would depend solely on him. I I think that with everything that has been going on in the world, I do understand being cautious. But as I said yesterday on my Instagram, there has always been catastrophe. There has always been mayhem. There has always been confusion. And it's not going anywhere. But that does not excuse us from living and and fulfilling our God-given purpose on this earth. And still hearing from him louder than we hear from anybody else. He comes first. His will, his way, his direction um, our conversation with him, our attention on him. And I, I I can bet you that like a lot of people, we have turned up the media, up social media, up our friends and family, and have not taken the time to turn up the word of God. You know what I mean? So that has taken precedence over our decision making. And sort of like um, 
if you're around a person that's cursing all the time, more than likely you're going to start to curse. It's because you're going to pick up that habit. You're going to pick up that mindset. But I'm telling you, the closer that you stay to the word of God, it will, it will take precedence over that fear. Last week when everything was happening at the Capitol, I was on the phone um, with someone and they were freaking out. I mean, totally freaking out. I'm just like, okay. I don't know. I can't explain. I had this un, um, this unrecognizable peace. It's sort of like in the night times. If you live night times, Lord, night time. If you live in Texas, you know that we have some bad thunderstorms, specifically at night, and they will just come out of nowhere. I guess for me, because I don't watch news. Um, so the thunderstorms will come out of nowhere. They're always a surprise to me. But when it initially hits, I will, I'm thinking, I immediately think, is this the end? Because it's that powerful here in Texas. I mean, it's loud. It rumbles the ground. The lightning is constant. It comes and comes and comes. And I had to develop a sense of peace during the time that we would have a storm. And what gave me the peace is who's in control of the storm? The Lord is in control of the storm. So I just... If I could give you a visualization of how I feel when the storm is occurring outside, it's like he has wings, like wings of an eagle. And he puts me, he takes my house and he lifts his wing and he hugs me under his wings and I'm safe. Like he could be flying over the Atlantic. And because I am safely protected under his wings, me and my family, we're fine. And that's the mindset that we have to adapt with the trying times that are going on in the world. And it may be significantly different now because we're older. So we're not just, a lot of us aren't just, you know, 18, 19 years old. A lot of us are 23 plus, 25 plus. So we've had some life experiences. We understand cause and effect. We understand, you know, being cautious and, you know, trying to make the most, the safest moves possible so that we don't take losses. But losses are a part of life. And I have to tell you, speaking from a cancer survivor, any time you go through a tough time or you're stepping out to take a, a, a risk to do something that you typically would not do, God is with you 100% of the way. You know, it's it can get daunting sometimes to explore something that you've never done, explore something by yourself, you know. Uh, explore something where you feel like you don't really have support because people don't agree with you or understand. Um, but we have to, we have to stand on God's word and just continue to move in the direction that he's calling us to move. Um, he doesn't leave us. So don't think because aunt Jackie didn't agree with your situation. And aunt Jackie is the one who's typically there for you that you're left alone in the situation. God created aunt Jackie. God made it uh, made it possible for her to support you and be there for you and all the times that she has been. And again, there are over 7 billion people on this earth. There are there are other people in this world that God will make available to you to that he will use um to bless you in the process of whatever transition or transformation that you're going through. No fear 2021 and beyond, but we're going to specifically focus on 2021. Live, breathe, thrive, trust, read, allow the word of God to penetrate your soul, penetrate, penetrate your spirit and live your life as he created you to take care.